What's up, people? Hello, people. Welcome to Peaceful Ambition Cooking 101. I'm just playing. Let me see if I can fix this. I guess that's good. So, guys, as you come in, once YouTube sends out the notification, as you come in, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Um, also, say hello so I know who is here. Guys, as the title, you see that we are making tuna sandwiches today. And I was going to do this as a vlog, um, but at the same time, I have a message. So I felt like, you know, I want to relay it to you guys while I make these tuna sandwiches. So guys, as you come in, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up so I can see who's here. Hello, people. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm making tuna sandwiches for my family, and I'll show you guys all the ingredients, but I'm just going to use these three cans right here. So, yeah. I'll wait till other people are coming in, and I'll show you guys everything that I have. And today, guys, we're talking about the art of being unbothered, or the power of being unbothered, should I say, because yes, it is an art to just consistently be unbothered but at the same time you hold power when you show that you are unbothered hey nikki unstoppable what's up what's up i'm good how are you thank you for being here um i know it's not tea time and it is a random live but i was making sandwiches for the kids and i just thought of something that i wanted to talk to you guys about so i decided to go live while making the sandwiches because maybe some people don't know how to make tuna sandwiches or will be interested in it so i am here what's up nikki and Sapu? what's up everybody else that's here i know it looks like it's taking a while for people to come in but it doesn't matter we're still going to talk so i'm going to show you guys my ingredients that i have um as far as making tuna sandwiches because like i said maybe some people don't know so of course we have a bowl uh, i have mustard mayo, sweet relish, also have an onion, and of course, the tuna, the tuna, the tuna, the tuna. Hey, Miss Green, what's up? Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Guys, I also have my cutting board, a knife, and notification just went out. Okay, okay and my um can opener so i'm gonna let a few more people come in since it looks like the notification just went out and um nikki unstoppable i don't care even if it was just you in here or two people like i still was going to talk and everything but it's good that the notification went out hello everyone thank you guys for tuning in to this random live um like i said earlier guys i'm making tuna sandwiches for my family and i just decided to vlog it hey tiara what's on for today and i also guys i also have a message so i'm not particularly cooking i'm not really cooking i'm just making sandwiches so <laughs> tuna sandwiches i don't gotta cook nothing but you know you gotta throw it together to taste good so um i also have boiled eggs i forgot to tell you guys i got the eggs in the back so today guys i'll be making sandwiches while talking something different you know just seeing if you guys like it um I'm gonna just get to it. So how's everyone going? Where is Tayden? Yanni, Tayden just got to school. Nikki Unstoppable, yes, I know. Um, we were supposed to do Sip and Talk, but Daddy Wise wasn't feeling it. He wasn't feeling too well, so we just skipped it. Maybe today we will do um, Sip and Talk, and we are still gonna do the same subject. Can't raise a man, but you can do this. So that's already out there. I love the message about can't raise a man. Thank you so much, Ebony. Guys, we are going to also do on the family channel. Yesterday, Daddy Wise wasn't feeling too well because you guys know he has like allergies and sinuses and stuff like that. So we skipped over it. But maybe today or sometime this week, we can try to do it. So hello to everyone that is here. Yes, Tayden. Can someone just call me? Yanni, here's your boy. Come, come, Tayden, come. <laughs> Here he is. Here he is. Crazy hair and all. So tell him what you did in school today, Tayden. I learned about. Yeah, what you learned about? I learned about physical and chemical changes. Okay. In science class, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's a little bit of your boy. There you go. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> All right, so yes, people, as you come in, please like up the live. I appreciate y'all being here because I know y'all like, this is not tea time. So I'm just going to get into it. Um, hi, talented. Will you marry me? 
Oh, talented Tatum. Oh, okay. I get you, Yanni. Hold on now. Hold on. Y'all can't. Uh-uh. We ain't fighting over my baby now. He ain't ready for all that. Like, why is he like, look at that girl over there. And Tatum be like, oh. I'm like, good. Stay that way. Stay that way. I don't want you jumping into nothing yet. <laughs> all right. So, guys, by the title, you see that we're talking about the power of being unbothered. And the reason why I word it as the power, the power. Yanni said, no, he's mine. <laughs> is because... Guys, when you show that you are unbothered or when you see that people are trying to get under your skin and you ignore them and you move forward, guys, you have the power in your hand, literally right here. And you know what? Let me start. I'm talking and I'm probably not even going to get to this. Hey, Smith, what's up? So, guys, again, I'm making tuna sandwiches. So let me start doing this while I'm talking. So first thing I'm going to do is actually open the tuna up so we can put them in the bowl and everything. And guys, just to let y'all know again, I wash my hands. My hands are clean. I also cut the, um, or not cut, I also washed the onion already. Hey, T, what's up, what's up? And I have everything else. So we're making tuna sandwiches for the family. Um, Andre is not really a fan, but this is what is on the menu for today. So we have the relish, the mayo, mustard, and everything else. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. So yes, guys, when I talk about the power of being unbothered, first of all, let me say being unbothered to me is when you know that things are going on around you. You know that maybe people are saying things about you or, you know, there's a vibe when it comes to you. I love tuna melt with paper jack cheese. Yes, it is delicious. You know, you ignore it you show that you are unbothered you don't let that throw off your vibe you don't let it throw off your goals that you have in mind just because you know maybe people or things around you aren't going as planned you have to show that you are unbothered Ooh, so guys i opened the tuna this thing's a little bit y'all see that Ooh, it's kind of watery so let's go over to the sink and pour it out just add some pepper wise will be good right to make it spicy even though i shouldn't have opened this can like all the way y'all see that i'm just letting the water drip out okay and guys i'm trying different ways to do um my vlogs and just different things i'm trying to go live more and whatnot just because i feel like you know as peaceful ambition grows i also have to jump into different things so um i hope you guys like this cooking with the message so okay so i drained some of the water even though i feel like it can be a little bit better but i drained some of the water i'm going to throw it in the bowl now um don't judge me guys because i can cook but i can cook <laughs> All right, so I'm going to open another can of tuna, and I'm going to make sure that I drain the water out of this one so it's definitely not watery and stuff. But, yeah, people, we have to be unbothered, especially in this world. When we have so much negativity, when we have people that are ready to throw a parade when it comes to our um, downfalls, we can't let people see us being bothered by their actions or even being bothered by the things that they say. Because once we have a plan, once we know what we want to do, once we know that it doesn't matter if people are going to love us or like us or applaud for us or cheer us on or whatever the fact is, we shouldn't care what anyone is saying about us. You know, we have to be unbothered. Even if we're in a room with a whole bunch of people and you know that people are just whispering everything. No, turn your head. I'm good. I'm good. And when they see that the things that they're saying about you or the things they're doing about you is not working, they'll eventually give up unless they just really don't have a life and they feel like I have to live my life putting this person down or whatever their case, you know, but for the most part, I feel like they will give up. We have to show that we are unbothered because if we do let them see that they're getting to us, guess what they're going to do? They're going to keep on keeping on. And we have to just say, you know what? Your words, your actions, your everything, it doesn't bother me. I really don't care what you're doing. I really don't care what you're saying because I am in my own world. I'm in my own zone and I'm just going to live my life. I'm like you. Thank you, Florence. Like, seriously, yep, tuning it out. <laughs> I enjoy watching this channel. Keep motivating us, girl. Thank you. And guys, like I said, I'm trying something different. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to sit here and make this sandwich. And sometimes, guys, I talk to myself. I go live in my head and be like saying what I want to say. I'm like, you know what? Instead of pretending like I'm live, let me just go live and I can just make a sandwich. You know, I don't think people will mind um, that much. And this is the last can that I'm opening, guys. I'm just draining it. So I'm sorry to be moving back and forth. 
Because this is real life, y'all. I'm a mom. I still got to make lunch. I still got to clean up. I still got to change dirty diapers and do all those things. So, you know, I'm not just Miss Peace and Ambition. I'm a mom. <laughs> so I got to show y'all my mom ways too. <laughs> hey, what's up, Anderson family? I'm trying to keep up with the live. Everyone is live now. Oh, man. Well, that's thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate you guys that's here on my live, um, you know, since there's other people that's live too. But nonetheless, I appreciate y'all. All right, so I got the last can drained. I haven't had tuna in a while, and I have a whole bunch in my pantry. I usually stock it for hurricane season and just forget about them. Same here, Lisa. We had this tuna in here. I'm like, hold up. We need to start making this because we eat leftovers. We eat all that stuff, and this tuna has been sitting here. Like, why not make something that's actually in the um i feel like i got too much cam fam is live right now oh i didn't even know i did not know well you know guys if y'all want to go over to cam fam i'm completely fine with that also like i said guys i know that everyone is out for everything so i appreciate y'all stopping by if y'all want to go to cam fam it's okay there's enough around for everybody but if you decide to stay here i appreciate y'all so let me show y'all my tuna does this look watery? I feel like I should still pour out some more juice, right? And I'm going to see. Andre's in the shower now, so I'm going to see his reaction when he comes down. I'm going to have him try it on camera and tell y'all how it tastes. <laughs> okay. All right. So this looks better, right? It looks pretty dry now, right? Okay. Hello, Scott family. Hello, everyone that is here. Again, I appreciate y'all. Okay, so now that I have the tuna and it feels like it's drained pretty good, I think that it's time to use the mayo. So I know mayo is a big key factor when it comes to making tuna fish sandwiches or tuna fish salad or whatever the case is. So I'm just going to squirt. It's a little bit more watery than I thought. So I'm just going to squirt some mayonnaise. Not too much. Let me get a spoon. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to use a spoon, but I'm going to just clean it off really fast. And I have my eggs in here. Right. See so y'all, y'all see me in the kitchen, in the kitchen. I'm just playing. Stop. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, so I squirted some mayonnaise in here. I know it may not look the best, but you know. They gonna eat this regardless. I'm um, just gonna mix it together right now. Now, do you guys also put mayo in y'all um, tuna fish? Like, I do, I should, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put black pepper too. Yeah, it like squirted out, so add some Miracle Whip. What, Miracle Whip, Terry? I'm sorry, we do not do Miracle Whip. Mm -mm. Mayo, straight mayo. <laughs> Okay, I think we definitely need some more mayonnaise because it's still a little pinkish. But yes, people, let me tell y'all, especially during social media and not even just social media, but just living in this world today, society and everything, people are always going to feel like, you know, they want to put their two cents in um, your life or they want to kind of tell you what it is that they think you should do because they think that they know the best. Guys, we have to live unbothered. We have to know that, okay, that's your opinion. That's how you feel. But guess what? I'm gonna continue to do me and I'm gonna continue to live my life. We have to be so unbothered that nothing can stop us. No one, not even your closest friend can come in your head and try to mess up your path. Just a teaspoon or so. I don't even think we have any um, Miracle Whip. Let's look in the fridge. Y'all want to see? Let me see. So this is our, I'm going to show y'all our refrigerator. I ain't ashamed. We don't got much over here. This is our condiments. Ketchup. We even got some Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, hmm. No, we don't have any. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see that. Oh, no, more mayonnaise. We got a lot of mayonnaise. So no Miracle Whip. Um, should I put this in here? Some garlic, or would that would I be doing too much? I don't know. Okay, but let me finish with the mayo. Let me see. Sound nasty though. No garlic. Should I add more mayo, guys? 
I promise y'all can cook, guys. I promise y'all can cook. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more mayo just because I feel like it should be a little whiter. No garlic if you're cooking it. Okay. Maybe onions. Yes, onions will be good. Okay. Onions and mayo. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, Taven. What you want to show me? Oh, good job. Yeah, go ahead. So Tatum wants to show you his work. We're working on um, spacing out stuff, but he did pretty good. So these are things that physical change and these are chemical change. So breaking a window is a physical change. Good job. Um, get, Stop. Get out of here. Get the pepper for me. Get the pepper. Where is it? Up in the cabinet. Chopping wood, physical change. Um, crushing ice. Okay, good job, Tatum. Good job, good job. It's up there in the cabinet. You know where the stuff is. Oh, wait, never mind. This boy. All right, so I'm not going to add any more mayo just because I feel like the mayo is good right now. Um, what is that, hot sauce? You see that? Mm. No, Tatum, not hot sauce. The pepper. The pepper. Oh. Oh, look at this. He's up on the sink right there. Right. This it? Tatum, what's pepper? What do pepper look like? Yes. No. <laughs> this boy playing games, guys. I'm going to ignore him. All right. So we already have that. Let's get the mustard. I got a mustard that's already open. Hey, we are the young family. So I'm just making some tuna fish sandwiches, guys. Yeah, he's playing with me. I know Lisa. That's why I just be ignoring him. Tayden is all psychs. He'll act like he don't know what's going on when he really do. So I'm just going to ignore him. Tayden, give me the black pepper, please. All right. So I have the mayonnaise, guys. Kratz mustard. Or not mayonnaise mustard and i'm just going to squirt a little bit in here and then mix it around cook is a woman job if so why cook is a woman job mm, i don't think so definitely not in my house honestly i would even say cooking is more of a daddy job i never this ate tuna it? with mustard must well, guys not... this is what he brought me <laughs> gravy Tayden, give me the black pepper yeah, he I. If he fall, is on his is he I. <laughs> a lot of people say they've never had mustard, so mustard kind of gives it an extra kick to me. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I promise you guys. I promise you guys. Tater, can you stop playing? I'm not playing. Tater, give me the must. I mean, <laughs> the power of being unbothered. Hold on. So I have to be unbothered because he sees that I'm getting upset, and he's going to keep on going. So Tater. Oh, I see. It. Can you give me the black pepper, please? Yes, I found it. Let me see it. Is it? Yep. No. Tayden, Tayden, Tayden. The it pepper, it? salt and pepper. You know what pepper look like. Stop oh playing with me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like guys i'll be feeling like crying sometimes I'm like please yes the mustard definitely gives it a little kick all right so mm, it smells it smells good <laughs> so do you guys use this you guys use relish i feel like relish also gives it a little kick i gotta try the mustard yes so i'm gonna put just maybe like a scoop of relish in it this also kind of gives it a little extra kick um tater give me the pepper Hold on, y'all. Get down, get down, get down. Move, move, move. Tayden is literally right here. Literally right in your front of your face. Goodbye. Go upstairs. Bye. He do things that drive me crazy, guys. Like, all right, so I got my pepper right here, but I'm going to wait until the end to put the pepper. Never try relish and, mustard and uh, tuna before. Yes, I opened it. Mm, it smells so good. Relish is like pickle. Yeah, but it has a different taste to it. So I think it, it tastes good. So I'm just going to pour a little bit. I know you guys are at home like, Ugh. <laughs> but it's it's pretty delicious. I hate pickles. Come on. That's some white girl sandwich. <laughs> it might be, but guess what? We're going to eat it today. Mommy made it. Y'all better eat it. That's how I see it. Tayden, go upstairs. No, go. Tayden. Guys, it's going to be good. 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 We're going to see what Andre said. We're going to get him out the shower. We're going to see what he said when he come back down here. 
So this is what it looks like right now. It don't really look like that. Let me add a little bit more relish. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, I think that's it. All right. So relish is added. Hey, Amazing Johnsons. What's up? What's up? You can't wait to see Andre's reaction. I know. And guys, he don't even like tuna fish. So when I told him I was making tuna, he was like, I'm going to take a shower. I was like, okay, when you're done, you know, come downstairs. All right. So also has some eggs. Only boiled three small eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and crack them. Let's go to the sink. I'm going to crack them. And once I crack my eggs, do you have cheese? Like what kind of cheese? This is a prank. No, this is not a prank. <laughs> this is real life uh, lunchtime, guys. Well, it's kind of late, but at the noon snack, this is not a prank. So let me clean my hands off really fast just because I touched my hair. <laughs> um, I think we have some Parmesan. So we have a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Parmesan right here. Never tried it with eggs. Never had tuna with eggs. What? What? <laughs> hey, white girl tea. Guys, I've been called white girl all my life, so I don't even care. That don't even bother me. This is how we make tuna sandwiches. Yes, in the South, right? Relish, a little mustard, a little egg. So I'm going to crack the eggs right now. They should already be boiled and pretty good. Um, I hate peeling boiled eggs. I know there has to be an easier way. Just mess with you. I know it's not a prank. Yes, eggs, people. So, hold on. And this is my weakness, guys. When I crack eggs, love eggs and apple. I don't know about apple now. I don't got no apple. I don't know about that. But I can see how that will taste good. I can see how that will taste good. A little sweetness. All right, so guys, this eggs, these eggs smell like fart. But herbic pill thank you thank you someone said they had it with with uh eggs before okay so this is my egg you see there's still like little shell on it i always wash my egg off andre thinks it's a little weird that i do that but it is what it is so i'm gonna put this on a cutting board real fast let me chop up these other ones um i gotta try all that see how it tastes it's good well we're gonna see if andre thinks it's good but for the most part when other people make it it's good yeah dice them fine yes i'm going to cut them up pretty little so i'm even going to put the yolk even though a karen tater are not fans of yolk but i said guess what we want to get it in there cassandra brown first time catching live hey cassandra and cassandra you know what this is not my usual live i'm not normally on here cooking or making stuff but you know hello and thank you for being here um, thank you for everyone that is actually here. I appreciate y'all. I was like, let me just do a random live. Let me put this on the cutting board. And, you know, y'all out here showing love. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, Lisa Queen Bee, that's too much work. They're going to eat what mama gave them. For real. Seriously, they do smell like fart. Yeah, like these smell like fart for real. I'm going to tell y'all this story. So, one time when my mom used to live here, <laughs> we went to um, a doctor's appointment. Hey, Simone, I'm making tuna fish sandwiches. <laughs> Someone say, hurry up, Daddy Wise. <laughs> so one time we were, um, we were at the doctor's office and I was with my mom and she had a boiled egg in her pocket. Why? I don't know. I don't know why, but she had it like in a, a plastic, plastic, uh, ziplock or whatever so he went to the doctors and the doctor said okay so just you know undress the baby from her diaper down and um we'll be back in a second so as soon as the doctor left my mom was like all right i'm about to eat my egg so she took the egg out and i was undressing talani and everything so when the doctor came back <laughs> when the doctor came back in the room she was like oh my gosh did the baby poop um please don't put poop diapers in the trash and me and my mom, we were just looking at her like, she didn't poop. And the lady was like, oh, I got to get an air freshener. And she opened the door and everything. And we were just looking. And I was like, mom, that's your egg. Your egg smell like fart. It smell like Talani pooped in here. So we had to tell the lady that Talani, because she was about to call the janitor to come take out the trash. And she was like, oh, man, she, let, she did a big one. And we're just looking at each other like, she didn't poop like is she trying to say we stink or nothing but then i was like mom it's your egg <laughs> she was like oh 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 excuse me ma'am i had a bull egg and it was like oh okay okay but when that lady walked in she was like whoo 
please don't put a stinky diaper in the trash and let's open some windows like this lady was snapping i couldn't help but to like die laughing like it was hilarious because eggs really do smell like fart like for real for real daddy wise is gonna <laughs> he's gonna ask what is this i told him what it is before he even uh went upstairs so guys let me show y'all here's my three eggs we're gonna call them bill bob and billy bill bob and billy we're gonna chop bill bob and billy up we're gonna throw them in the tuna here's my tuna right here mm, looks good kind of don't imagine don't don't worry about that little pool of moisture right there you know don't mind <laughs> so I'm going to chop up the egg and we're going to get back to our message because I know I'm all over the place. So people, I feel like as an Aquarius or just as of myself, I'm really good of pretending or not being unbothered. And when I say pretending, sometimes things are going to get to you. But like I said earlier, we can't let people see that it's getting to us because when they do, it's just like when you have a sibling and you know, your sibling's messing with you and messing with you and messing with you. And once they see that you're getting upset, they're going to be like, yes, ha <laughs> ha. We can't do that. When my brother and I were little and he used to bother me and just irritate me, a lot of times, and it took a while, I'm gonna take the yoke out. A lot of times it took a while for me to be like, okay, once I fight back with him, he loves it. It turns him on, <laughs> you know what I mean? So if I ignore him and show him, no matter what he does to me, it's gonna roll off my back. Then that's when, you know, eventually he gets tired of it. Like, oh, you're boring and just walk away. We have to do the same thing in life, guys. We have to know that there's going to be people, there's going to be things out there that's going to want to bother us. That's going to want to make us to, you know, be frazzled in our brain. Ezra, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the tribe. Welcome to the family. Um, this is not a normal live, but I'm happy that I did do this. But I'm the same, only we tick, we tick. Yes, so true, so true. So I'm cutting up my eggs right now, guys. I'm gonna let y'all see the eggs when we're done. The onion will be nice. Um, the kids are, the kids like onions. They like onions. And I have an onion in here in the refrigerator that I said I'm just gonna chop up. But I'm gonna do my eggs right now. The onions can be a little last. I'm trying to chop these eggs up uniformed because daddy wise will look in the tuna and be like why that egg look like that and that egg look like that uh-uh i'm not eating it so i gotta make sure my food is also presentable for daddy wise because that's a big thing for him but he won't eat it either way if he hungry later on what's for dinner tuna fish <laughs> later on today oh mommy we hungry do you got anything to eat yep here's a tuna fish sandwich like guys that's how i am we make dinner and we got leftovers what you want to eat brown stew chicken all right there you go tomorrow what you want to eat brown stew chicken all right there you go like we're gonna eat the food before it's done like I, mm -mm. I don't play with food like that well we don't play with food because leftovers are still food we gotta eat it all right so let me show y'all my eggs hold on because i don't want y'all laughing at me too <laughs> All right, so tell me if y'all think, only chopped up like one egg, basically. Tell me if y'all think this is good. Y'all think that looks pretty uniform? I mean, some do look small, you know, you know, you know, you know. But that is Bob. Let me chop up Bill now. Bob is right there. Let's chop up Bill, and then we'll do Billy. And then once I have the eggs in, I feel like we just need to worry about the salt and pepper and the onions, and we'll be done okay that's good that's good hey beautiful nightmare hey peace tribe hello everybody man so what's for later because <laughs> look we gonna see we gonna see daddy wise might come down here and take a big bite and love it he probably still in the shower and talani just woke up so he's probably up there wrestling with her all right so i'm chopping up bill okay bill come on bill chop 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 Hello, everybody. I'm sorry to looking all well relaxed. I'm looking like I should have combed my hair, but <laughs> it is what it is. Hello, everybody. I'm trying to concentrate on chopping this onion. Guys, if you are just tuning in, I'm making tuna fish sandwiches for my family. Um, like I said earlier, this is not a favorite 
for daddy wise and the kids honestly only had it a couple times but i just saw the tuna every time we go grocery shopping we grab a can of tuna and i'm like why do we grab tuna if we ain't eating it so guess what we gonna eat it today make sure you toast the bread yes that will definitely help to kind of give it a little crunch right and i think we do have cheese um that they could put on it like some cheddar cheese or something like that so i'm taking the yolk out just because i don't want any excuses from the kids i'm gonna show y'all the eggs in a second yes leftovers are delicious especially if the food was delicious in the beginning and then you can warm it up the same way and just a trick guys if you guys have like pizza or anything that's bread put like a cup of water like a half cup of water in the microwave and your stuff will come out moist it shouldn't be hard or nothing like that how things usually are when you have bread it should be pretty moist so let me show y'all bill I don't know, Bob and Bill is cut up. Now we just got Billy. So we're going to do Billy now. Y'all see I got the yolk over here. I'm actually taking it out and considering the children, even though normally I just do whatever. Let me see. Someone asked about, did you all do Sip and Talk last night? Um, Beautiful Nightmare, we didn't do Sip and Talk last night. Daddy Wise wasn't feeling too good. His allergies and sinuses and stuff was really bothering him. So I just we just decided to skip over. But if he's feeling better today, we're going to do it. And we are going to do Can't Raise a Man, But You Can Do This. Because me and Daddy, we also, well, Daddy Wise, we also talked about the subject even before I did on Peaceful Ambition. And, you know, he wants to get his little two cents and everything. So we definitely are going to do it as a subject on the family channel. So, guys, this egg, for some reason, looks really small. So I'm going to use this yolk because I think a little yolk is okay. But the other two, I took the yolk out. So once I get done chopping this, we're going to put this in there. What's up, Miss Evans? Hello, hello. Hey, T, making some banana bread or pudding. What do you say? Some bread pudding. Ooh, bread pudding. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever had bread pudding, but that sounds delicious. And luckily, this is a meal that you can eat cold. So <laughs> I don't got to worry about cooking nothing for real. All right. This yolk surprised me. Look at this. It's pretty big, but we're going to use it. Terry, I need my tuna to be thickened up right now. So we're going to use the yolk because <laughs> it look a little watery. All right. So guys, this is the best it's going to get. Let me show y'all my eggs. Hold on. Let me do a little chopping. This is why I don't cook because I take forever to cook too. All right. So here's the eggs. We're going to put it in there now. And call it a day. This yolk is right there. And then I'm going to get everything together so yes people i added relish i added a little mustard mayonnaise um you guys said no to the garlic so i'm not going to add the garlic i'm just going to mix it together now y'all think i should call one of the kids down to be a test a test taster you slow in the kitchen i am beautiful nightmare most of the times when i'm like cooking or something daddy wise be looking at me he be like let me do it just just go sit down I'm like Akira. All right. <laughs> All right, people. So I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see my tuna. I think it's looking a little better. The eggs definitely kind of gave it some color. All right. Call Akira. All right. We're going to call Akira. And just let you guys know, Akira hair is a little crazy because they're getting their hair done this weekend so she's already taken out i want you guys to see my tuna y'all see the egg y'all see the tuna a little bit of yolk in there i don't think it's watery or nothing like that i think it's i think it's okay i think it's okay let me chop up the onions now tuna on pizza oh i never tried that tuna on pizza i mean I guess it sounds like it'll taste good. Let me bring this down a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, I think that's better. All right, guys, so I got <laughs> I got my onion. I already cleaned it and everything. I'm just going to chop some of it up and put it in here. Let me see something. Wise! Are you done with your shower? Oh, I want you to, um, not right now, but soon, I want you to try this tuna sandwich I'm making. All right. All right, so he, y'all heard him. He said he's been at the shower, but I guess he's just upstairs. So let me hurry up and cut this up. I'm going to cut the onions up pretty small just because. 
The kids don't mind it, but if they bite into the onion, especially Tayden, he's going to be like, yeah. What up, bit, uh, bleh, I can't talk. British Brian's, thank you guys for coming through. Guys, I'm making tuna sandwiches. I thought you were making tuna salad. No, I'm going to make tuna sandwich, sandwiches. I mean, tuna salad, what's the difference? Just putting some pasta in it or something? I don't know. Grate the onions. Uh, hmm. We don't have a grater, so I'm just have to chop it up pretty small. Up, oh, uh, Nikki on said, uh, Daddy Wise is <laughs> twenty dollars. We gonna see. We gonna see, guys. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have a grater, so I'm just gonna have to like try to chop these up pretty small. But I'm gonna call Akira down first to try it. Once I put my onions in, I'm gonna call her down because Akira gonna tell me how it is. Tuna sandwich is the best. Love carrying it to work. Yeah, see, see, some people still eat tuna, and I know I'm slow, y'all. I'm slow. Chopping this stuff up. Okay, okay, okay. Callie Kitchen, what's up, little sis? I need you over here right now. Guys, if you are a foodie and you love seeing people cook and everything, go ahead and hit up my little sis right now. So tell me, I put relish and mustard and mayo in this. Callie, is that the way that you would do it? Tell me if that's the way that I should be making it because I know you are the chef. Like, guys... If you want to see someone cooking, go subscribe to her channel because she be making all types of stuff. I be over there like <laughs> trying to pull back my, my saliva and stuff from how good everything looks. So, guys, here's my. Let me see. I could turn around. Here's my onions. Are these small enough or should I chop it up a little bit more? <laughs> I feel like I need um, I need more because it looks a little skeet compared to this. So I'm going to chop up some more. I have a little bit more of the onion left. Ding, ding, ding. Smaller. Oh, man. Let me see. Someone said, yes, that's good. All right. I'm just going to chop up some more. Chop it up finer? How? How do I do this? Akira, get off of here. Akira's view. Yes, those are really small. All right. Let me see if I can cut out smaller. Akira, since you're on the live, come down here. I need you to be my taste tester. How, but I don't know how to chop it up. Chop it like, because they're already small. Okay. Oh, man, I'm making a mess. Okay, okay, okay. Right, Akira and I'm supposed to be online. Akira! Come here. So I actually bought three eggs. Let me show you. Let me show you. So... I got three eggs in here. I um, use yolk for one of the eggs. And come here, little baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't get too close because um, I don't want your hair flying everywhere. Guys, here's Miss Akira. As I, I said, yeah, she just took her hair out. So, yes, going to Family Dollar by your great <laughs> Yes, I, we need to. We need to have one. We did have one, actually, but I don't know what happened to it, honestly. All right, I'm working on chopping this up. So, Akira, I need you to be my, te my taste tester for the first sandwich. You want to eat the first sandwich, or you just want to try the tuna by itself? I want to eat the first sandwich. The first sandwich. All right, so do me a favorite. Favor. I need you to... You want toast bread? Everyone's saying try it with toast bread. Yeah. Toast bread. All right, get some bread and toast it for me. Wash your hands before you dip your hand everywhere. <laughs> All right, so she's going to wash her hands. I'm trying to cut this up smaller, guys, and I cut up more also. So we're going to see what Akira says first. And then, do you want cheese too, Akira? Yes. Because I feel like a couple people on here is is doubting my cooking skills, though. Y'all doubting my cooking skills. She's tasty tea. I'm tasty tea in the kitchen. All right, so let me show y'all what I got so far. Okay, toast some bread. Put in the toaster. Okay. Let's see. Um, um, T, when you're making tuna sandwich, don't grate the onions because sometimes the scent can't um, can throw people off and not everyone loves onion. That's true. <laughs> I care what Yanni said. What's up, my sister-in-law? <laughs> what? Sister-in-law, like she's married to Tatum. How you feel? How you feel? 
the knife that you're using makes it hard to chop. Yeah, guys, I'm using a regular knife. Maybe I should have used the chopping one. I feel like just being like, but yeah, I'm not going to add sugar because I've never had it with sugar. And I know Andre really not, he's not really a sweet person. He really going to be like, what, the, what is this? <laughs> All right, so guys, this is the best it's going to get. Wait. Let me show y'all what I got. Snuggles, thank you. Look here. You need to see what you're doing. You don't need to see your face <laughs> and know that you're faking the phone. No, I'm really doing this, Snuggles. I'm going to show you. Let me see if I can turn it around. Yeah. Snuggles, look at this. No faking over here. So this is what I'm all going to use. This looks smaller, right, people? Snuggles, thank you for the donation too. So I made it smaller. I was kind of like cha 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 This is me making them smaller. Huh? Some bell peppers. Okay. Okay. That's not small tea. Oh, she her. I'm trying. Trying to do the best I can. All right. So this is this is the best it's gonna take. You know, once they bite it, you know, it'll get smaller once they chop it with their teeth. All right, so you have something cooking right now? Yeah. Okay, so she got something toasting. Change the knife. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Corn? Oh, man, y'all telling me all types of stuff I never heard of. It's not toasted that fast. I can't literally just put it in for two seconds. All right, so I'm adding the onions right now. <laughs> this is one festive tuna. <laughs> Okay, get a um, paper plate, Akira. Try carrots, oat. You should try carrot oat muffin recipe. Mm, I can't, I'm not a baker, honestly. Oh, thank you, Snuggles, another one. Let me see what you got to say. The reason why nobody else is donating to you and because you're looking at you with the side eye. <laughs> but believe me, if this was store-bought, it definitely will be tasting better. And I wouldn't be asking y'all about the ingredients. But it's all me, Snuggles. It's all me. I've been here from the beginning. So I added my mayo. <clears throat> I like mayo. T, don't put nothing more in there. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to add anything. So what about, I ain't put no salt and pepper yet. I have to do Did that. This? What? The mayonnaise? Or mustard? Yeah, I had the mustard already. All right. So should I add salt, y'all? A this is a whole cooking cookie channel right now. Yeah, you added mayo. Yeah, no salt. All right, so I'm just going to add pepper, right? Pepper, a little salt. No salt? Mm -mm. No salt, no salt. Okay, everyone's saying no salt. So add pepper. Okay, I'm going to add pepper. That's good. I feel like I need more. Unless this tuna is salty. No. Oh, and my bread's done. Do your thing. I'm doing it, y'all. So y'all see the pepper? Y'all think I should add a little bit more pepper? What y'all think? We watched her open the can. Yes, I've been I've been doing this from the beginning. All right, I'm going to taste it now because I feel like it should taste a little bit better. Add a little bit more pepper. Okay. Maybe I'll add. Give me... Um, they look golden. They look good, don't they? No. Oh. This. They look golden. Oh. Do you want um Cheese. Mm -hmm. So guys, here's a carrot toast that she toasted pretty well. I, I put it on two. You put it on two? All right, so I'm going to try this, guys. I'm going to try it. Oh, gosh. Where's the cheese? Mom, where's the cheese? Look at the top. So. Can't find it. Like up here? It's not terrible. Hey, Tanisha. Thank you for the donation. What's up? What's up? Thank you guys for being here. So, I feel like something missing, y'all. That cheese? Do we don't have no regular cheese? Garlic powder. I think that's what it is. Yeah, oh. something's missing, y'all. T, don't follow nobody. Tuna can be a little raw unless the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Add more pepper. I definitely need some pepper. I feel like I need some salt. I need a little bit of salt. What's that? This is what a carry just gave me. This? Should I add this, guys? Yes, garlic. Okay, so I was going to add this garlic. Should I add the powder? What is this? Garlic, scallion, allspice. Don't add the allspice, guys. No allspice. 
There's add seasoned, garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. There's seasoned um salt in case you want to add that. Seasoned salt? Yeah. Um sweet corn is good in tuna. I don't know. Well, I never had a tuna sandwich with corn. <laughs> Can I make it? No, I got it. No, 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 no. Oh, well, I had a little bit of garlic. A little bit of garlic. Bit lemon, lemon juice. juice. Lemon juice. See, we have lemon juice. Okay. <laughs> Y'all said no. Guys, it is what it is at this point. The garlic will blend in. I didn't put a lot. And I think we need some more pepper. And... All right, so I'm going to just mix this together. And... No lemon juice? All right, no lemon juice. Oh, it can cut the rawness. Okay. Daddy probably wants some hot sauce. All right. You don't have a hot sauce. All right, let me add a little bit more pepper. A little bit more pepper. Oh, yeah, get the salt. Get the salt. The seasons? No, just regular salt. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm going to call Andre. Andre! All right. I'm going to add a little salt, and the Kira's going to try her sandwich, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess it's coming up. All right, all right, all right, all right. I no, see. Oh, I add a little bit. Tell daddy come downstairs so I can try him. Okay. So he could try this. Daddy. All right, people. So my tuna fish is done. My tuna fish is done. I ain't going to add nothing else. He's uh, Kira's calling daddy down now. Guys, the power of being unbothered. Even if daddy wise don't like this, I'm going to be unbothered. And guess what? He's still going to eat it later on. Let me show y'all my food. Here we go. So y'all see I got a little egg going on, a little tuna. That's a little relish right there. Um, My yeah. So, so daddy-wise, uh -oh. here's the man of the hour. I <laughs> so I need you to try this, okay? Mm -hmm. 46 minutes to make tuna. Yes, yes. Matter of fact, I want you to take it. You want toasted? Mm -hmm. I just want regular bread. You just want regular bread? All right, get a plate and get some regular bread. So people on here saying that they betting me money that you're not going to like this. Because it's just tuna. Everybody saying, hey, daddy wise. And I told them that, you know, it's not your favorite, but, you know. You're going to try it. So I'm going to have Akira try it first. Mm -hmm. Talani, get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So I'm gonna tell you, my people, my tribe over here, they've been helping me. They've been telling me what to put in here, what not to put in here, and everything. So I'm gonna have, yeah, I'm gonna have to Akira. I know how to make. I know how to make it. They just been guiding me. You shouldn't need guiding. I thought you had it already. It's Akira's. I'm excited. You excited, right? Yeah. What? You need to make no, a whole no, sandwich. I don't, babe, I don't and guys, Akira got the butt bread. Someone said, hey, father. Butt bread. Yeah, yeah. Akira has the bread box. The bread box. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to tell him, but he going to believe me. It don't matter. Even if I tell him, mm, he going to tell. Teddy, you rude because you going to get some anyway. All right, so. Okay. Try it. Tell me the truth. Wait, take a bite. Uh -huh. Wait, what? Just take it in and swallow it. Don't say nothing beforehand. I can't really I taste it. So. Don't say nothing. Okay. Swallow it and then tell me. Because you may not be able to taste it until you just have everything in your mouth. Oh, you got to take another bite? Mm-hmm. She got the big, thick butt bread, so... <laughs> okay, yeah, take a big bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you taste it now? Talani, stop. Next time, add some sweet corn and mayonnaise. I added mayo. I don't know if we have corn. Let me see. So, Kira. <laughs> How's it taste? <laughs> well, I was agreeing with someone. Someone said my bread's too hard. Your bread's too hard? <laughs> Hey, she did her own bread. I ain't had nothing to do with her bread. I'm just gonna take some of it. Oh. Huh? So how's the taste? How's the tuna? Give me some answers.
and you're not saying nothing. Really? Why you got that face? Why you got that face? Mm. Okay. What? Tell us a care. Look, they want to know. It's good. It's good. Like After it. three bites. All right, I, like bites. I like it. I like it. I like it. I try this now. Turn it to a diet, huh? All right. And guys, daddy going to tell the truth. And look, he only got one little bread. This morning, be as much Besides, it's missing something, right? Besides, there. But I wish I put in there. It's missing something. Boy, I'm not there. What? No offense, Michelin Tariqa. What? But I did everything that she said. She put relish. She did everything. What is it? It's missing something. I put salt, pepper. What do you think I'm missing? No, no, but. It's just all right to me. But it's still, oh man, I'm spinning. Mm, yeah. It's edible, right? You can't eat, but mm, it's all right. I'm just being honest, though. But, you know, you know, maybe we could put some cheese with it. Cheese right nah. there. What cheese? Where? They don't cheese, I just man. found the cheese. They don't need no cheese. Yeah, in yeah. like you never had a, a tuna melt sandwich with cheese? Nah, dear. I don't even eat them sandwiches on the regular. I know. Tomatoes, cheese, and mayonnaise, and more. Guys, cheese. he salad dressing. Yo, people were saying put this. Betty Wise won't lie. So you got this little sandwich, but I told them that we gonna eat this. So you ready for another sandwich? Yeah, I your told bread? you no. I'm not gonna eat all this stuff, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know my stomach now I've gone so well for one. <laughs> and for two, this now I cut it for me. Well, as a snack. No, I'm good. This is that's my it, babe. No, nah, you know, come on. No, no. I'm all right. And plus the world, yeah, I'm saying what well, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You wanna eat it? I'm gonna make Tamani a sandwich. <laughs> Everybody laughing. <laughs> I mean, Guys, I tried my but, but he said it's alright though, right? Mommy. No, I'm not trying to lie to him. That's all. So alright is good. Alright, can you can't eat. <laughs> <laughs> but Mommy. But you ain't finished. Look, guys, he not even finished his hand. Yeah, just pull on my head one thing up. Nikki Unstoppable, you lost, but I love you. Thank you, Nikki Unstoppable. Guess what? He gonna eat it still. He still gonna eat it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see Talani's reaction. Go ahead, bite it. Come, eat it, man. Put this hand out and bite it, How it tastes? Is it good? Okay. Y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> see that face? Talani, it's good? What does that tell you? Eat it. Go ahead, put it in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, she put the whole thing hmm. in. Okay, wow. okay. She ain't playing. Right. Y'all saw her reaction though? She like ate it. Like, and the toaster is <laughs> way better. Toast is better? <laughs> One last person, Tatum man. I already know he's gonna say it's nasty because Tatum like don't like to eat anything. Tatum. Oh, he putting some clothes on. All right, all right. <laughs> you can boil pasta, make a yes. That's what we gonna do. We gonna recycle this. Yeah, they don't want this now, but guess what? I'm gonna put some tuna in it later. Want it. You want it? You want another sandwich? Toast it again. Yeah. Are you ready to try this now? Yeah. Okay, don't try, try it. If it's good or not. It's good, Tate. Okay, it's good. but Tate, do you want toast? Do you want toasted or not toasted? Toasted. Toasted. Two toasted. Yes, Angela. Yes, I am live right now. It's gonna taste good either way. Now, I'm upstairs, so I'll put together some slides. Mm -hmm. The next review. All right, I'm about to wrap this up soon. Oh, you're good. He doesn't want the runs. No, you're good. Let's make it more. Guys, Daddy Wise talking on the snap, but guess what? When he hungry, let on. Hey, babes, can you make me something? Tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> For dinner. Tuna fish. Oh, man. Guys, oh, we got some avocados. Yo, get the avocado. Wait, you? Wait. Imagine this with some avocado. That tastes good. You want an avocado with some tuna sandwich? You know what? Oh, no, 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 no. Avocado. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Look at yeah, that. that. You want some stop, avocado, stop right? Stop trying to gas this shit up, man. <laughs> He gonna eat it regardless. Talani like it too? Talani tearing it up. She does like it. Talani, you like it? Yana, you see my reaction already? It's all right. No, she's talking about Tatum. Oh, all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she was her, like, I father in law earlier. Oh, is that is good? You taste it too? Yeah. All right, so we gonna use avocados, everything. Keep opening. Oh, this one. Keep opening the spice. Mm. 
Yeah, Mommy wise, just make some vegetables, cucumber, um, tomatoes, yeah, and lettuce. Uh, um, the nut, the nut, the nut. Oh, that I was using. Oh, I put in the sink already. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Right, well, it stinks. No, it don't stink. Oh, you got it. Mm -hmm. Right. So I said this is the cheese that we use, guys. This is like the only cheese that we really use. When you cook it, it Wait, melts. Wait, you put it inside of there too? No, but you could put it on top. But you don't like cheese. <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> Daddy like, wise, you look yeah. nice with that head tie. Daddy like wise with the too, like, the wave cap like in the back. Didn't like nothing in food. Get your toast. <laughs> All right, so Tayden's about to try the toast Wait, my or the sandwich. Oh, no. It's done. Here, put your bread on there. Do you want me to put avocados on top of it? That sounds avocados. good, right? Yeah. Tayden's put avocados inside of it because the avocados can fall off. Oh yeah. No, I'm yeah. not gonna put it inside here. Just put it on top. Like we had a restaurant. Yeah, like, you just put, put it on top. Your sandwich. To make it look oh, fancy. Okay. Yeah. It's um, all right. Mm. I'm, I'm, oh, shit. Wait, Tayden. Take it out. Take this one. I'm gonna get another sandwich too. What? All right, guys. So here's Tayden's toast. He didn't toast it as much as Akira. Because um, I put it for two. Oh, you want another sandwich? Yeah. That's you know, Akira want another sandwich? Um, it's All right, good. so I'm gonna cut this avocado. Right I didn't now. taste I like it yet, it. so don't tell me, guys, it's good or not. All right, so I put a little bit of avocado on Tatum bread. It's mine. And I'm gonna just put some tuna on top. Oh, the avocado? Wait, put some. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. I'm gonna say put some cheese. What? This is yours. And to tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't care if y'all don't like it or not. Y'all gonna eat my tuna. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it, but I don't know how it tastes. All right, come on. Okay. Here's Tatum's reaction. Be careful with it. Just like my son, he doesn't like food. Yeah, Tatum don't like food, but he eats when we make him. Be careful. Go ahead. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful nightmare said 98 98 likes means almost 100 people was watching. Yes, beautiful nightmare. And let me tell y'all, this is one of my best lives that I ever had. So this just shows me I need to do more cooking things on Peaceful Ambition. Thank you guys for being here. If this is your first time, if this is not your first time, either way, I appreciate you guys. And y'all saw me whipping up something in the kitchen. How it tastes? Mm. It's good. It's like what? Good. It's what? Mm. It's what? Good. It's good. Okay. 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 And Zelaya's still eating her second one. Her first one. Is it good? Put the hammer on one. No, that's her second one. Oh, you gave her another one? No, Daddy had no, two, two pieces. Oh. Yeah. What? Two little pieces and all yeah. you had was one little yeah. sandwich? Yeah, I know you want to eat All right. Okay, Daddy. Okay. Dad, she's going to find okay. a way to sneak in your food. Yes, somehow. we are. I'm Can you even cook snuggles? I can't cook. Slani over here Lani, spitting yeah, on myself. I like so I want Daddy Wise to answer it. Daddy Wise, can I cook? Yeah, yeah, can I cook? Yeah. Can I cook yeah, one day? Yeah. 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 Beautiful nightmare, don't do me. I can cook. You just say, yeah, you can cook. Can you make it seem a little more convincing? No, I mean, you can cook. You, you can cook. But you just don't like to cook. No. Honestly. No. So that kind of sometimes take away from the skills. <laughs> I'm being, 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 being no, too. but it's the truth, I, guys. I honestly, I'm like I said before, honestly, like, I'm being honest. I don't like to cook sometimes because Daddy Wise be like, I care, I "Do care. this way, do sure. that way." So I just kind of like, you know, say, "Here, you do it, you do it." But I can't cook, guys. I do like to cook, but sometimes my husband is so particular that I just prefer him to cook. I saw you cook and chicken. Yeah, see, guys, I cooked a little chicken and everything. What? What's up? Thank everyone that's here. Thank you, everyone that donated. Honestly. Um, Andre. Yo. Someone said, "Oh, Miss Evans said live tonight for Family Channel." A lot of people asking, "What happened to y'all sipping talk?" Can't do that tonight. Dude. Tonight. Tired Yeah. All right. So we are good. What exactly can she cook? Ooh, Yo. name dishes. Snuggles put me to the test. I'm gonna have Andre. Yeah. Tara can do all the things, man. Tara can cook dumpling, banana, rice and peas. Our specialty are lasagna, of course. Um, but. My teacher all up a yard cuisine and style, isn't it? It yeah. just takes a long time. Curry chicken. <laughs> um, but I don't know how well she is at some of them things, you know, because it's been a long time that Tara right. really... Tara and I consistently cook. Right. Which is the reason why I did say, I'm not sure that my wife, which is the reason why I say, sometimes you can lose, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. your, your skill set if you don't really do it over and over. Worse if you don't like cooking. So, I know, know of her can cook curry chicken, brown stew chicken, fried chicken, 
white rice. Mm. Still can steam some white rice. Um, <laughs> Yes, I could the mess out some rice. I still teach you to do the, if you have a good grip on that dumpling and anything there. But yeah, we'll cook it said way. Yeah. Um yeah, like I said, brown stew, you know, the, the, at least the very basics. Okay. You know, Aki and sawfish, them thing there, callaloo and sawfish. Mm-hmm. You don't know a thing going on. I can really. cook it. I can cook it. I can cook it, y'all. Akira. Who? Oh. You, you need this? So, yes, people, y'all heard it from him. I can cook. I just don't want to cook. And daddy definitely cooks better than me. So, half the time, I'm like, look, you just do it. I'll just do something else, clean dishes or something like that. So, yeah, we also need more vlogs on Andre and Tierra's world. We know. We definitely said we're going to do something this weekend. Look at it already. It's Thursday. I some more. You want some more? Well, after you my Yeah, after you go with that. All right, all right. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this. Thank y'all for sticking out for a whole hour watching me make tuna fish sandwiches. <laughs> um, you know, I definitely try to talk on the topic, the mm-hmm. power of being unbothered, guys. Despite anything or anyone in your way, don't let them bother you. Don't let it. Just like this tuna sandwich, it's going to be unbothered and everybody's going to be eating. <laughs> going crazy. Talani, say bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye guys. Bye mm-hmm. bye. You ready for another sandwich? Oh, you said bye bye guys. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Angie Love said, bye. Miss White, your mother <laughs> taught you how to cook. Oh, say it again. Say bye guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, my baby started to this in. Mm-hmm. All right, people. We love you guys. And we'll see y'all later on on the family channel for our. Sip and talk. Sip and talk tonight. All right. Why not just be? You know, if we call it sip and talk, we just have to have a live. Alive, sip right. and talk are typical, uh, you know, specifically Wednesdays. So when we miss it, we just usually try to pick up back a random live some other time, and you know, especially now that we're why is wind down? Um, especially now that we're being requested. Um, you know, to do the live, right? Yeah, we'll get it done, man. So watch it, man. Look more we'll do a live food. Bye, guys. I love y'all endlessly. Let your ambition be your peace. I'm about to smash me a sandwich and go for.